Welcome to Analyze It. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a pair plot in Power BI using Python. The purpose of this video is not to teach you Python code, but how you can use Seaborn library to do a pair plot. First, what is a pair plot? A pair plot just plots a pairwise relationships in a data set. Imagine that you have a data set and you have these four continuous variable where you want to see you want to see the relationship. You can certainly start by having a grid of axes such that each variable in the data set will be shared in the y axis across a single row and the x axis across a single column. You will end up with a chart like that where you have in the diagonal the distribution of each of a variable and all other are the chart distribution relationship um, across um, the variable. You can also use the categorical variable to visually enhance the plots and see the trends in the distribution for each category. And you will end up with a chart like that showing you the distribution for each category and the relationship. So to recap, a pair plot plots a pairwise relationships among variables in your data set. The chart in your right, we have included the categorical variable, while the one in your left did not include the categorical variable. So now let's see how we can do this two beautiful chart in Power BI using Python. Okay, um, now I have my data set um, open in Power BI and the name of my data set in Power BI is my data. So to make a Python visual, I will go to report and then I will select PY. Um, one thing that I need to let you know is that uh, to be able to use Python visual, you need to have um, Python already installed in your computer in, and in some cases you need to enable the Python script editor in Power BI. So um, once you click on the Python visual icon here, um, it will open, uh, it will also ask you to um, enable the script and then there's some messages about security, always check enable. And then there will be um, a Python script editor um, section open. And here you say, it says drag fields into the values area in the visualization pane to start scripting. So um, I will start bringing my variable from my data set. So to do that, I will basically do, go in my table here and I will select um, all, the, all the variable that I need from my data set um, in that pane. So I will be selecting the four um, continuous variable, build depth, um, then I will select build length and then body mass and flipper length. And also uh, the final one that I want is to bring in the species, which is the categorical, categorical variable. Note while I was selecting this um, variable from my data set, uh, which is called my data, Power BI um, has done two things. First, it has removed all the duplicate in my data set and it has stored this variable as data set. Although my data set in Power BI is called my data, but for the purpose of uh, using the Python script editor and doing the, the chart, it has um, loaded my the four um, variable um, temporarily as data set. So anytime that you will have to call this variable um, in your chart, you will have to make reference to data set. So once you're there, now you can start uh, typing your code. So I'll, I'll start typing my code. So, um, and the first thing that you basically need to do is first, you need to import your Seaborn um, library. The Seaborn library is a really um, great um, library for Python, allowing you to do um, every kind of chart. So I will basically import, I will tap import um, Seaborn. And I will, I will call it as SNS. And the second library that I really need, and you all you will always need it, is matplotlib. So I will import import mat 
plot lib dot pi plot as plt. Those are the two main library you will always need to import um, when using Python um, to do some nice um, visualization. First, you will need to import um, Seaborn and, and by default, and people like to save them as SNS. And the second one is Matplotlib. Once you're there, it's everything is, 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 is really cool. So the next thing that you need to do is basically call the, the pair plot um, function in the Seaborn. But so we, to do that, we will tap SNS because we imported um, the Seaborn as SNS. So we'll type SNS dot and the pair plot. And we open the parenthesis. Now, the thing that I was telling you, because we have saved this variable here, I mean, not us, but Py, um, Power BI has saved it as data set. So we don't have, you cannot call my data, but we have to call data set. So we'll basically type data set here. Set, and then we close the parenthesis. And the final step is really to um, tell Python to show us the, the, uh, the, the chart. So we'll call PLT because this is where we have the matplotlib and we said PLT dot and show and open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Now we are done, basically done. This is uh, so simple like that. And we will just run this script in Power BI. To run it, there's, we'll click on this arrow and you will see that it will start running your, um, your data set here. Here we go. So it will take a little bit of time, but um, depending on, on the, the length of your, um, of your um, PC. Here we go. Here is the first chart. So let me um, reduce the size or increase the size for you so you can see it. So here is it. Um, and you can see, for example, um, all this variable here. Right, and let me increase it, you can see it big, bigger. Here you go, this is the um, pair plot for your, um, your data set. So now we can do the second plot and we can add the species um, um, categorical variable. To do that, let's go in our script again. We'll show the script editor. And what we just need to do is to put the set, a comma here and then we tap the hue equal the variable that we have imported, which is um, the, the, the species. So we have to type exactly how, as it is. So we'll just have to um, double quote and species. Exactly, we need to be sure that is exactly the same. And then we're done. We just do a uh, click on that arrow here and it will run again for you. You see, it will it is running here. And it will take a little bit of time and then it will open it for you. If there is an error, it will show you, it will tell you there's an error in your, um, your code here. But typically I don't expect here uh, an error in, in mine. Here we go. Here is your nice pair plot. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Um, you can see um, it has up added the, um, the um, categorical variable and you can see the relation. For example, you can see there is a um, positive, a strong positive relationship between the flipper length and the body mass. And also the color represents the different categorical variable. What I like with Power BI and using Python with Power BI is that I can have interaction between all my um, visual in my dashboard. For example, right now I have a, a Python visual, but I can have all other um, visual from Power BI and I can slice my Python visual. For example, if I want to um, add a slicer, right, I will add a slicer and then I will bring the Iceland um, variable so that now I have, I can slice my Python visual using um, this um, slicer here. For example, you will see if I click on the Dream Iceland here, it will automatically slice my Python visual using only the, uh, the data that are 
in relation to the dream island. For example, it will take a little bit of time, but it will, it will slice it for me. Here we go. So you can you see that it has um, it has um, provided me um, the, the the pair plot only for the dream um, um, Iceland. So I can also do it for the third one. And you see that it is um, it will it will run and it will give me the new um, uh, new chart with only the third um, Iceland. So these are the beauty of um, Power BI, and you can. Slice it. Here we go. So this is the the pair plot for the third um, Iceland, which is um, uh, the to Jason. Okay, this is how you can do very nice uh, pair plot uh, using Matplotlib and Sibon in, in Python. Um, I will put uh, down below um, a link where you can have uh, uh, the example of where you can find this data set as well as the code that I've just uh, showing you. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be aware where, when I am releasing a new video. I will continue to share my knowledge on how to use Python and Power BI and with Excel. Take care and stay tuned.